Ladies and gentlemen, it is Thursday. Are you thriving? Are you planning to prosper? You know that winter is coming. Are you getting ready? Today we continue our journey with the Tony Robbins Financial Summary, uh, Financial Seminar Summit. And today we move on to Rick Sofer, who is one of the top fund managers of all time. He actually manages the Rothschild family money. And today I want to kind of uh, talk about some of his findings, but really talk a little bit more about the importance of having a money manager. Uh, in the next 18 months, there will be a massive amount of opportunity. And, you know, someone when we talk about real estate, you have to have the right team, right? You have to have your mortgage broker, your lawyer, your broker, if possibly an accountant if there's cap gains or 1031 involved. And so similarly, when you think about your wealth, you should have in your team an excellent accountant and a great money manager, right? Someone that does this every day uh, for a living. So uh, contrary to pop popular belief, the number one role of a financial planner, of a money manager, is not how much money can they make or what are the returns, right? Or what's the ROI. The number one job of a money manager is don't lose the money. We've all worked really hard to get to a place where we have money to invest and the number one rule for money managers is don't lose the money. That's why we have things like asset allocation and you know diversification and asymmetrical risk and all these different strategies for the purpose of making sure uh, the money doesn't go away. And as a quick tip, uh, make sure that when you're you know uh, interviewing for a money manager and they're talking to you about their returns, if they start trying to sell you on how great their returns are in the way of percentages, be careful of that because you know if I took. 10 bucks and turned it into 20 bucks, well, that's 100% return, right? So you always want to be talking in the ways of cash, not percentages. And again, if the if the money manager you're interviewing is talking a lot in the ways of, here's how much money we made for our clients, yada, yada, well, then they're definitely not talking about how much money they haven't made. And so again, defense is as important as offense, if not uh, more important. Now, depending on your cash flow, your age, things of that nature, that, you know, it might change what percentage you want towards risk or or security, but but ultimately, uh, just be beware be of that. So today, I just wanted to very quickly talk about the best traits of a financial manager and give you some examples. So number one, a great financial manager, they have clear outcomes for their business. So a good example of this is Ken Griffin. He was in the top you know, 25 or 50 financial managers, but he wanted to be known as one of the top firms in the world. So they changed their, uh, their outcome, their KPI, to $50 billion a year as a target, that changed the kind of clients that they took on, the kind of work they're doing, their fee structure. And within, you know, under five years, uh, they achieved their target and, you know, success leaves clues. So if someone can do that for themselves, well, I'm certainly happy to give them my money and see what they could do uh, for me. Another really important Another really important one is instinct for survival. There will be times where things are not thriving, kind of like now, and you want to make sure that your uh, financial uh, financial planner, your wealth manager, isn't just built for good times, that they know what to do in bad times, that they've got an instinct for survival. So George Soros is a really good example of this. If you Google him, he's the one, he's the, he's the person that shorted Sterling back during the 1992 uh, Black Wednesday in UK, and this guy made over a billion dollars uh, just because he knew what to do, he knew where the exit doors was. You know, he knew what to do in the event of a bad move. And so, you want to make sure that when the stock market's going to get ready to plummet, or you know, whatever's going on, you want to know that your your um, you know the person that's handling your money, they know where the back doors are, right? Man, this one's so important. Don't follow the herd. Do not follow the herd. So, uh, you know, Seth Klarman is a good example of this. He says, if you're good at something or you see something, believe in yourself regardless of what other people are saying, you know, follow your gut, so to speak. So to all the crypto early adopters, you know, JP, uh, um, uh, uh, Jamie Dimon and all of the financial gurus were like, oh, crypto is BS and yada, yada. And before you know it, every financial institution is trying to get their hands on crypto. I mean, so, you know, crypto is down now, but for those people that are bullish, that are believers, uh, you know, I think crypto and blockchain has a really very real future um, in our world. Uh, buy after the next crisis. I mean, we've been talking about this for weeks. You know, David Tepper talks about crisis means opportunity. So over these next, you know, six to 18 months, uh, all asset classes will be on sale. There'll be ample opportunity. So when there's maximum fear, there's also maximum opportunity. And those people that have the courage and the means to act, you know, typically find themselves 
in a good situation. And lastly, be informed. You know, David Shaw, uh, this guy is one of the top financial planners in the world. And as he was building his business, he used to run to get the newspaper first ahead of everybody else just so he could have the news first. So I know I went a, lot, a little long here, uh, just over five minutes, but I'm really passionate about this subject. Get yourself somebody great on your team. You know, if God forbid there was cancer in the situation, you would find the best surgeon possible to operate. You know, your financial outlook, your financial future is very important. So make sure you got somebody on your team that is well-versed and ready to help you uh, play defense, but also play offense. Get after it, guys. See ya.